Athena, welcome to the show. Thank you. Romney, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Happy to be back. Now, Happy Romney, the internet went wild last year when there was this Idris Elba Barbie <laughs> doll. Yep. What did you think about it when you saw it? That's my inspiration to work out right there, actually. <laughs> oh, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> However, Yo, spot on. Oh, there it is. My boy reached out to me. Um, <laughs> um, Andre Rafi, I met him on the set of Think Like a Man. He's a comedian. He said, you know what, dude? Now that I see that doll and I think about it, you look like Idris Elba in hospice care. Oh, my oh, God. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 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 like, oh. Has anyone brought you the doll? <laughs> Has anyone tried to buy you the doll? Um, you know, I think it's coming up for my birthday. I, I think, yeah. I, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I was looking at some receipts at the house, and I think that I might have got one. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, okay. okay. You know, Let, okay. Us know. Let us know. Let us know. So, Christina, your father was an acting coach? He was. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Did he take you on auditions? Oh, my God. He took me all over Hollywood. I was about four or five years old. Yeah. Six, seven, yeah. <laughs> and um, apparently, I, I got a reputation for being a very good cold reader, but I hated it. I was so shy. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, yeah, I auditioned for Punky Brewster and then Cherry, her best friend. Yeah. Yes. 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 We, we love, love Cherry. I know, right? Yeah, can, yeah. Yeah. Can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah. yeah. Is that the tape that they saw that had you come in for a million little things? Yes, it did. It went viral. And then it <laughs> later. Oh, wow. like, we need her. <laughs> no. No, we are, we are. Come on, y'all. Come, come, come on, come on. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, going back in the past, Romney, I heard that you, before acting, worked yeah. as in, you worked in craft services. It's a fact. Fact. Okay, wait, what did you remember from those days? I can't imagine. What'd you do? Oh, it's a crazy story, but in a nutshell, the girl that I was dating at the time, I was best friends with her ex-boyfriend, and he had a craft service company. Okay, okay. Right? Weird, so, but okay. got you. And got he it. would do craft service on um, commercials. Okay. And I would help him. But then when my rap career died, I went straight to like, yo, let, let's make let, let's make some business. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And I just remember this dude rolling up one day and seeing me do craft service, and he had my album, and he was like, oh man, you making commercials now, fam? <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm doing the the, the craft service. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, oh, I guess I don't need you to sign this no more. Oh man, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, now you both star <laughs> Crazy, in a million man. little things, which actually just got picked up for a second season. So congratulations. congratulations on that. Your character, Regina, actually is a chef. So I have to ask, do you have any experience, you know, at restaurants? I do. I was a server for a very long time. No way. I was horrible at it. Well, no, I wasn't horrible. <laughs> I just would forget things sometimes. <laughs> okay. Um, and they would call me Butterfingers. Oh, so you was that me? Oh, oh, yes, I did. Oh, I actually no. spilled water all over, like, my boss's oh. table. Like, not my, like, the owner of the restaurant. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Um, but I was so good with people, and I was attentive in terms of, like, connection. So okay. it saved That's me. That's good. Okay, still yeah. Is. Still that's is. awesome. I think that's cool, though, that you guys both worked in hospitality where you're serving people, because that always stays with you somehow, you know? Yeah. Absolutely, but you don't have to do that anymore. No, 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 because like I said, you're on a hit show.